We've got the high temperatures, but they're going to be sticking around for so long right now, Nick. Mm -hmm. That really is a concern that, you know, even if today or tomorrow there's not something, we're seeing these temps into next week. Yeah, into next week. You know, there's uh, some indication you might see uh, our relief coming in mid next week, but it only only a few weather models are suggesting that, but at least we're going to see the temperatures start to back down. At least, not right now, though. We still have now through the weekend with a string of days above 105 more than likely uh, across our area. So uh, the high temperature so far in downtown Sacramento today, and I think we've just reached the high temperature that was at 106 and we're holding on to 104 right now in the city. But uh, I head up to Marysville, Vacaville right now at 108 and 102 Davis, Stockton, Modesto well into the 100s. So you get the picture It is hot out there. And with that north breeze we've had from time to time, the fire danger has certainly been elevated, especially earlier into the day. Those excessive heat warnings we've been telling you about each day, those have been extended through next Tuesday now. So you think about today being Tuesdays, a week from today, we're still going to be in it. And heat advisories have been uh, also expanded east across some of the higher elevations in the Sierra, also in effect through next Tuesday. So when we reach the highs of the day, you want that relief at night. And with this type of heat wave, you don't get nearly as much relief. Temperatures in the valley, low to mid 70s. But if you're in the foothills, you know, how warm it is during the overnight hours and many of you see overnight lows in the 80s before we start to recover back up into the 100. So very little relief in the foothills overnight. Tomorrow will likely break the record high tomorrow of 110. Tomorrow's forecast 112 in the city of Sacramento. You head down towards Stockton and Lodi 112 and likely staying well above 110 as you get further south into uh, Stanislaus County where Turlock 111, Modesto at 111 degrees, all of which will break records in your community there. Yuba City running at 112 degrees and up into the 90s uh, in the Sierra. South Lake Tahoe also likely to break a record high for the day. So numerous records likely to be tied or broken tomorrow. Those are daily records. But I think in the city of Sacramento, we're going to be within about uh, a, a, d within a couple degrees of the all time for the month of July. So here's how the forecast sets up here again. If you're heading out for 4th of July 109 on Thursday for Sacramento, but there'll be some spots in the valley above 110, especially north in the Sacramento Valley 110 on Friday 111 next Saturday. But there'll be some areas on Saturday with another peak in the heat between 110 to 115. So the heat is going to continue in terms of any sign of relief. Uh, again, it may come as we get toward the middle of this coming week. So let me explain what's happening. High pressure is driving this right over us. It starts to slowly shift toward the east early next week in that area of low pressure. We'll see how it pushes down to the south. It may start to result in a more of an onshore flow. At the very least, we'll see our temperatures not as hot down to about 105, but likely continuing the stretch of 100 plus. And with that said, we may be in the top here for the string of days, for at least for the city of Sacramento, uh, placing at least top six. You have to make nine days to at least tie that for 100 plus. You very well could do it. 10 days, that was in September 22. That was back when we hit our all time record. So very hot weather in place. The foothills, you're staying in the 100s as well. 104 for the foothills on July 4th. And then notice on Saturday, dangerously warm as well, 108. And we stay in the triple digits, even in, in the foothills into early next week at least. And then well into the 90s for our communities up in the Sierra as well.